Good morning. Welcome back. It's time for another new edition of Taste of the Town. A Michelin star Japanese restaurant is celebrating its 10th year in New York City's trendy Tribeca district. Yeah, it's getting a much larger, more glamorous space in the south of Fifth neighborhood on South Beach. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo takes us inside Azabu, Miami Beach. Azabu is named after a bustling district in Tokyo, Japan. Its first U.S. location is Michelin starred and it's in New York's Tribeca district. Here at Azabu Miami Beach inside the Stanton Hotel on South Beach, there are many experiences going on under one roof. We basically wanted to introduce true Japanese cuisine to the Miami audience. We actually have three concepts in one restaurant. Uh -huh. um, we have the main dining room and we have a separate room which we call the den uh -huh. for omakase style sushi. And then we also have a full bar where we have uh, many Japanese whiskeys. We actually have 40. I'm pretty sure we have the most in 40 Miami. Japanese whiskey. <laughs> yeah, I think that is the most. <laughs> the main dining room is relaxed and inviting with subtle hints of Japan throughout, like this bonsai tree. We went with, you know, very organic, lots of wood. Um, and then our theme color is actually Japanese indigo. Okay. So we have a lot of blues and indigos in this room as well. Like as in these little plates here. Exactly. Yeah. There's a full Robata seating counter allowing guests to watch their dinner cook on the Robata grill. And then the den, an 11 seat sushi bar with a counter crafted from a Japanese hinoki cypress tree. Here it's omakase where the chef chooses the fish for you. We have some fresh selection of sashimi of the day and also the nigiri piece. You'll get 10 pieces of nigiri uh -huh. served piece by piece. Wonderful. Really? Yes. And it changes from day to day because we only use whatever is fresh. So we make sure it's flat. Back in the kitchen, French-born chef Christopher Robert is executing head chef Masa Kubu's culinary vision for us on this day, preparing my yakumeshi with eel and fresh veggies. Everything is carefully placed and cooked on a Japanese fry pan and then untouched until it's tableside and ready to be stirred. The rice is really special because yeah. it absorbed all those ingredients, right? Yeah. It's got a little bit of a chew to it. Chef's lobster tempura with a crispy bubu rice cracker and spicy mayo is simply elegant. Because mm. this is really good. I love the bubu ahari on the top. Right? So the rice crispy. The rice crispy yeah. on the top. It's a lobster rice crispy treat. The whole sea urchin thing is freaking me out. And then the dish I'm most afraid of, avocado uni. It's sea urchin inside warmed avocado. But once it's plated, my fears melt away. By the way, it's really smooth. Where it's not fishy. It's smooth and there's a definitely creamy. creamy is the word. Yeah. And it's got some heat in it. Super tasty. Super tasty. I'm all about the Super avocado tasty. uni. We toast the meal with the picture-perfect spring in Tokyo cocktail, Azabu, where Japanese cuisine and experience go hand in hand. It's open seven days a week, dinner only. With Taste of the Town, I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. Azabu Miami Beach is located at 161 Ocean Drive inside the Stanton Hotel. And if you're hungry for more Taste of the Town, check out Lisa's Digital Bites. Find our exclusive web series in the entertainment section of CBSMiami.com.